This video is sponsored by Blue Apron. Happy Thursday. Um, I'm just getting home from the hospital. Today and tomorrow are actually pretty significant days for me because today was the second to last day of my entire medical school career, which means tomorrow is my absolute last day of medical school before graduation. So I guess that's pretty significant. Um, I still remember my last day of college. I remember I had to give some type of presentation or I had to take some type of final exam. And then right after I felt so free and I went to the farmer's market, I bought a little bouquet of lavender. Yeah, and I just remember like feeling like, wow, my college days are really over. So I'm getting sort of a similar feeling for my medical school being done. So you guys know that I'm finishing up my medical ICU rotation. So I have a presentation to give. So I'm going to be talking about one of my patients that I took care of in the ICU. Um, so for tonight, I'm going to keep it pretty easy. I'm going to make dinner and then I'm going to work on my presentation for a little bit. Um, and then that's pretty much all I have planned for the day. For tonight's dinner, I'm going to be making something from my Blue Apron box, which just got delivered today. I'm going to be making a roasted chickpea and frika salad with lemon labne and harissa glazed carrot. And while my dinner is cooking, I want to tell you guys a little bit about Blue Apron. Blue Apron is a meal kit delivery service, and the way it works is they will send you a cooler box with all the ingredients and recipe each week right to your doorstep. They will send you the exact proportion so nothing is wasted from unused ingredients. So this is pretty convenient if you're really busy and don't have time to go get groceries. There are two types of plans that you can choose from, the two-person plan, or if you have a big family, you can choose a family plan. Each week, there are eight different recipes to choose from. For this week, I picked the Parisian steak treats, roasted chickpea and frika salad, and the seared cod and olive apennine. Today, I'm gonna make the roasted chickpea salad. So if you guys are interested in trying out Blue Apron, click the link in the description box, and the first 50 people to sign up will get $50 off first two weeks of Blue Apron. This is the final product. It actually ended up becoming like a really nice one pot dish and it's actually really yummy having my second serving here. So after dinner, I'm gonna work on my presentation like I mentioned before and I'll show you guys a little bit of my presentation, not the whole thing. I'm doing my presentation on my patient who had a pretty bad GI bleed. He had a Mallory Weiss tear, tear inside the esophagus from throwing up after he had a binge drinking episode. So basically my topic is talking about um, transfusion in acute GI bleeding setting and what your hemoglobin goal should be in those situations. That's basically my presentation. It's super short, it's like 10 minutes long. So I'm just gonna work on it quickly and I'm gonna actually head to bed in a little bit. Um, maybe watch a little bit of TV. Good morning everyone, it's Friday and it's the last day of medical school. Yay! I actually don't know how to feel. I guess it's like happy because I'm done and I have the next month and a half free before residency starts, but also kind of like bittersweet, I guess, because, you know, I really enjoyed my time. So anyway, I'm just getting ready to head over to the hospital so I can give my presentation. Um, I think it's gonna be a short day, probably maybe two hours at most, because I think there's only four of us that need to give our presentations. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Friday. We're leaving school on our last day. Woo, last day! <laughs> last day of school. Oh my God, I can't believe we finished. It's kind of <laughs> anticlimactic, but um, you know, yeah. I think everybody's pretty happy. Here with Matt. Hey, how's it going guys? <laughs> <laughs> he is going to ortho. What is, in two sentences, um, advice for somebody who wants to go into ortho? Um, well, I actually didn't know I wanted to do ortho okay. until later on in third year, but I think it's a great mix of, um, you know, engineering, technology, and, uh, you know, f uh, physical All right, one medicine. sentence left. <laughs> <laughs> well, one sentence uh, left. I gotta keep it short from okay. now on. I don't yeah. know. Bones. If you like bones, <laughs> do <laughs> <our> <laughs> <bell>. <laughs> All right. 
trauma. Well, thank you, and congrats on finishing med school. And congrats to you, too. Congrats, Jeez. everybody. There's Chris, uh, so, audience favorite so here. America, striving hard. Santosh, going into? Neurology. Neurology. Chris, going into? Neurology. Okay. Sounds similar, but totally different body parts. Yeah. So today's the last day of med school. Uh, I was I had the pleasure of rotating with Jamie, uh, Miss Strive America, on the, the MICU here at Robert Wood. I love to say that. Um, and uh, learned a lot today. We had our presentations, um, kind of culminating the end of our medical school uh, career as students. So from now on, uh, no longer students. And, uh, Are. Aww. Uh, we're gonna be doctors. Yeah, we're doctors. doctors. All right. Final thoughts on last year of medical school. Final thoughts. I mean, it came quick, uh, faster than I expected. Definitely, third year was uh, tougher, uh, the toughest year. Um, fourth year was tough in its own way. You had to do applications and do away rotations, a lot of uh, paperwork. Um, but it all came together at the end, and. Uh, you know, I mean, being the being the camera. Okay. Final thoughts? Yes, I'm final thoughts. Chipotle. Chipotle. I yeah. just can't wait to go to Thailand well, right, right now. I, I can't even I can't even be upset about being on a plane for twenty hours after four years of all this. Oh, I'm ready to relax. What? You're, you're you're going out right now? Like on a plane? No, I'm going out on oh, okay. Tuesday. Nice. And you got your celebration cake. Oh, right this here. is my celebrate celebration uh Chase Leche's cake. <laughs> Only the finest cakes to celebrate the last day. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. Keep striving, America. Keep striving. <laughs> hey guys, it is Friday afternoon and I have a surprise. Uh, I am actually going to be leaving for London and Paris tomorrow. So now that I'm done with med school, I thought it would be a great time to travel a little bit. So I'm packing my bags and I'm going to Europe. So, there are times when I try to be strategic about this, but it's just really hard to predict what kind of clothes that you're gonna wanna wear. How do people do this? I'm gonna be spending about two and a half weeks in London and Paris, and a lot of people are leaving um, the country, at least from my class. A lot of people are going to Thailand, a lot of people are going to different tropical islands in Mexico because it's the perfect time to travel. We're finishing our presentations today and our attending was basically like, this is the longest time you're gonna have off, like maybe for the rest of your life, so really enjoy it. So <laughs> definitely trying to do that and see more of the world and travel more. So yeah, I'll be in London and Paris for the next two and a half weeks, right up until graduation. I've narrowed down my outfit choices to what is on the bed here. The strategy that I ended up going with was trying on a lot of different outfits and then taking pictures to see if it works, if I'm comfortable, and then um, packing that. So that's my strategy for this trip's outfit planning. So I'm just gonna continue packing and go to bed in a couple hours. Hey guys, so I am here at the airport about to board my plane here with Bay. Um, so I am going to end the vlog here and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week in London. Bye!